Tyler Wright. Now having a look in front of her, goes for the layback. Snap to start it off with. Great off the bottom top turn combination. For two-time world champion Tyler Wright, it's been a long road to recovery since contracting post-viral syndrome in 2018. The amount of excruciating pain my whole body was in is something I've never felt before. I'm just like, how's it Tyler's had a rough couple of years. She's been out with injury and illness, and it's been hard to watch her kind of struggle to find her form again. Coming into this event for the first time, we're really seeing her come back to life. She got her family behind her, she got her fiance by her side, and her surfing and her health just seems to finally be peaking back to what we know of Tyler Wright, the world champion, the two-time world champion. Preparing feels almost kind of like myself again. <laughs> It's been four years since I've put the jersey on here and walked down those stairs. As someone that truly appreciates this wave and this place and, and the country that we're on, it's the only event I want to win. Quarterfinals underway for the women. Tyler Wright and Bronte McCauley will go at it for a place in the semifinals. The winner will take on Courtney Conlog. Bronte getting things started here. Great technique here. Big opportunity now for Tyler to get herself into a good position in this heat. And she'll go to that trademark layback hack time and time again because she knows it gets good points. Oh, I like that time. one. Tyler Wright's last wave in the excellent range at 8.17. That's what the true champions do. If you want to ring this bell, you need to attack, and you need to attack every section. Wow, dropping the huge nine-point right here. Bronte McCauley in combination. An amazing heat score total again from Tyler Wright. To be surfing like this here, it, it, it feels really emotional and really connected, and beyond grateful for everyone that's put in the hard work with us to, to get me back here. Tyler is so hungry to win Bells. It's the only mainstay Australian event that she hasn't taken out of victory in. And I think she's gonna actually be really dangerous now coming into final day. A strong showing from Tyler Wright earned the Australian a spot in the semifinals. She's had a few really standout moments so far, but for her, she's gonna now need to build on that and start to back it up if she wants to be in that world title conversation again coming into the end of this year overall. With back-to-back -back world title wins in 2016 and 2017, Tyler Wright was cemented as one of the elite surfers on the women's tour. Tyler Wright is your 2016 world champion. I won. Tyler Wright has gone back to back and is your 2017 world champion. In mid-2018, Wright contracted Influenza A, which kicked off a years-long battle with post-viral syndrome. The amount of excruciating pain my whole body was in is something I've never felt before. So many days, it's like I can't get back up anymore. It took a lot to come back. One, physically, but two, and most importantly, psychologically. I think for a while there, she was in a really dark space. She probably felt so isolated from everything and everyone. After a year and a half away, she entered the 2019 Maui Pro as a wild card. <laughs> there is one more heat in 2019. Tyler Wright taking on Stephanie Gilmore in the final of the Lululemon Maui Pro. To keep surfing heats, you know, it's not what it's all about, but it's great. It's a great part of it. Maui was a big step for Tyler, but a full recovery was still years in the making. This season, Wright is finally back to 100%. I've put a lot of work into this year. This is the first time I've actually feel ready and fresh and beyond grateful to feel this sort of joy to a job that I've had for 10 years. Competing wise, I've never been more excited. Good morning. It's an exciting day. Courtney Conlog would have been the earliest woman here before a 7 a.m. heat. Uh, Tyler Wright showed up around 6 a.m. The semifinals get underway, and Tyler faces American Courtney Conlog. Courtney Conlog is so consistent at Bells. She's got three victories here. 
Pyler is so hungry to win Bells. It's the only mainstay Australian event that she hasn't taken out of victory in. Great start. There's the patented Tyler layback. And here we go, Courtney up and riding on this one. Is it around again for a sharper second? And what she got for a third one, puts it up there straight through the lip. Last of red, a 6.4 Tyler. You're chasing a 7.01. Big hack under wow. the lip, looking to set up his second turn, throws it up, just swooping Three, cut back. Scores two, are in from Tyler, a 7.33 and the lead. Tyler Wright takes the big win and she's into the final. That was beautiful. You surfed your way back into the rhythm. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, it was tough, it was back and forth the whole time, so hectic heat for a first thing in the morning. Tyler Wright through to the finals at the Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach. Tyler's had a rough couple of years. Um, she's been out with injury and illness, and her surfing and her health just seems to finally be peeking back to what we know of Tyler Wright, the two-time okay. world champion. <coughs> Getting the first wave underway. Carissa. Nice tail slide to start off. Oh. Awesome three, opening Carissa blow. Oh. Carissa's opening right, right stretches right out on the face. And you can just see the timing, it's, it's slightly off compared to Tyler's opening right. Just a little hung up on the final hit there. One huge carve to start this one off and puts it up there for the trademark carve. Tyler Wright has locked in her sixth excellent score with an eight point ride. Carissa Moore not gonna go down easy though. Uh, an incredible campaign from Carissa Moore, but it, it is going to be Tyler Wright's day. And there we have it, your 2022 Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach champion, Tyler Wright. I cannot put into words just yet what this means. It's, it's been a long four years. Um, there's been multiple times where I've just wanted to give up and it's just not worth putting in the effort to get back to this sort of form. And it is more than a win. It's the only event that I've ever really wanted to win. I'm pretty over the moon. Your champion of the Rip Curl Pro, Bells Beach, Tyler Wright. Tyler Wright's win at Bells is a big comeback story. The performance at Bells was a true return to competitive form. Yeah, when she's in that space, she's just so dominant. I wouldn't be surprised if Tyler went on.